Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an MG MGB Cabriolet. It's not too bad this one actually, it's a little bit wrong here and there but not major. It's, it's play worn, a few little parts are missing, like the door panel there you can see on the right hand side. The passenger door steering wheel's not there. So we'll have to sort that out. The back rail that holds the luggage, obviously there's no luggage so we'll mock one of them up and sort the rack out. Some nice detail on it though. Yeah, see, the back wheel's missing. So these are weird shaped wheels and well not shape obviously the wheel shape but the design of them's a bit weird. They're like on a disc mounted. So I'm gonna have to mock up some sort of wheel swap and I don't know, I'll just have to play it by ear, see how we go along with it. But yeah, we'll um get a styling for the inside door, we can sort that out, not a problem. Nice bit of detail on the front there. All clean up lovely. Still rolls well though, to be honest. I'm going to be doing a colour change on this as well. I think it deserves to be better colour than white, so let's take it apart and see what we've got. So thankfully this one, these actually uh, screws holding this together, so there's no drilling required, so nice fiddly screws for me to start off with, yay! And it's getting the better of me all straight away though. Where's screw? Can't get it out. Come on, you can do it. It's a great start to the rest though, can't even take the bloody base plate off. There we go. It's just plastic as normal, as expected. That screw really doesn't want to come off. Oh well, it's staying there for now. Right, interior. The dashboard needs to come off first. onto the bottom there so we can pop that off there literally. Nice bit of detail on it though. That should just pop out now. There we go. Nice interior. Little recliners as well. Be okay with just a little clean up this. I think I'll leave this the original colour, let's be honest. Just give it a good wash. Should come up quite nice. Just pop all these little plastic lugs off these. breaking off the little melted mushroomed over ends of these little lugs and then they just slide out. Oh we actually have to drill out the window, okay. Okay it's not too bad. I'm wondering whether to just leave these doors in to be honest. I don't think they're going to get in the way much so I'm not going to mess about with them today. Out the mirrors while we're here. So many tiny parts on this car, I'm guaranteed I'm going to lose something.
many tiny bit of them. Jeez. What else have we got? Oh, let's take off the, uh, the roof cover, the panel cover. A little bit of plastic to break off. There you go. Push it off. This car was actually donated to me by um, one of my daughter's boyfriend's granddad. So, thank you very much, Scott. You can show your granddad this video and tell him I appreciated the donation. And see what he thinks of it. So yeah, thanks very much, mate. I love a good rack. You can't go wrong with a good rack. Oops. It's got a little bit of a break on the back rail there, so I'm gonna have to just pop a little bit of glue on that, straighten it out, and re chrome it. Should not okay. Really tiny, really tiny. Should come up nice once they're cleaned up and re-chrome on. Might like new. See if I don't lose them. Oh, they actually split. The chrome comes off me. Oh, that's a bit easier actually. Be quite a lot easier when detailing. Them back lights look like they come out. Are they going to come out? There's another bug. I'll have another look at that in a second. Right, this door panel. I'll try and get this out in one piece without breaking it, as it's going to be my stencil. Make a um, one for the opposite door. Gently, gently prise it. It's only glued in and popped into the little lugs on. Just work your way around the glue. A little wiggle, wiggle and pry, wiggle and pry. Come on, you want to come out? There she goes. a little bit of detail on this door panel out to be honest. This cast, this cast is fantastic to be honest, I love it. Look at the detail in there. Nice. Looks like it's had a piece of glass in at one point. Well, that just could be the remnants of the glue. You know, you feel like this. Into the wash tub. Right, what's next? That window. Get the front grills out as well. Off with the lugs, be gone. Thinking about it, I'm actually going to leave that as is, but the detail on it, it's fine. And it will leave a little bit of originality, so I'm going to leave that. I'll clean it up and put it back as is. So the front, it's nice, nice detail. It's pretty nice casting, to be honest. Should be a good little job to do. Right. 
get this window out and then I'll lay all the parts out for you. As you can see, there's quite a few parts of this little car. So it's, um, it's going to be a nice little restoration, this. I'm looking forward to it. Just them wheels. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, I took, already took the paint off in the caustic. I didn't film it because it, it was just the body, to be honest, a couple of minutes. It took longer to, um, to set everything up to film it, and you, you've seen it before. So, just give this a quick dunk. I'm going to leave the original paint on it because it's fine. I've had a little look. It's uh, not, nothing wrong, so in with the pledge. Just dab off the excess. And then we'll cover it up and put it away. 24 hours, keep the dust off. So you can go over there till tomorrow. Now time for the luggage. So I've speeded this up by twice, but it's still gonna be ages. I'm such a slow builder when it comes to stair, starting building. I'm still pretty new to it, so feel free to skip ahead. But I've, I've sped it up as fast as possible. So I'm basically just gonna cut out and stack a couple of pieces of styrene and form a suitcase for the back. Well, I do love this styrene, it's, it, it's so versatile. What things you can make with it is, uh, it, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's such a solid, solid medium as well. Like it's very flexible and flimsy, but the minute you start piecing it together and gluing it up, it, it becomes such solid solid piece. It's an awesome, awesome bit of kit. And it's so cheap as well, so I think you can pick up a, a variety pack. It's about £20. £20 sterling. And then um, you'll get like a few different sheets, different diameters, thicknesses. You get tubes, um, C, are they called C-section beams or I-beams, H-beams, whichever way people call them, but you get quite a bit in them. And you just rough it up, so it'll take some paint. Square off the edges. All three pieces, there we go. Fantastic camera work. You don't even see what I'm doing. Great. Give it a quick stand down. Make sure the old edges are square. And I'll take this opportunity to uh, thank all subscribers who have subbed to the channel and continually watch videos and leave comments and likes, I appreciate it, I really do, can't thank you enough, and welcome to any new subscribers to the channel, welcome to the community, please feel free to leave comments, suggestions, criticisms, anything you like in the comments, I do read every comment and answer everybody that takes the time out to, um, to comment, so jump in, don't be shy, also if you want any cars doing, just again in the comments, suggestions of what you'd like to see on the channel, and I'll try my best to um, make it happen for you. Oh, there's the handle gone for the, uh, the button. I actually don't end up using that little handle there. The proportions were wrong. I couldn't get the scale right, it was too fiddly, so I ended up using a small piece of paper clip, bending it over and drilling in the suitcase and inserting the handle into the end. It, it worked out a lot better, so you don't see that bit here, but you'll see it at the end of the reveal. But there's the suitcase anyway. More far than off camera.
you know, so regarding the wheels, I had to um, dismantle the wheels and the tyres. It was weird because the, the tyres were the pieces that were like fitted to sort of, I can explain it, like a, like a hub, like a brake disc. And that sat at the back, which then clipped onto the axle. So the, uh, the inside of the wheel, the actual wheel itself just popped in and out. So the way I had to do this, because I didn't have anything like that whatsoever, I had to rummage through my little scrap box and found a set of wheels that were like the smallest I could find. And I think they were seven mil in width and I had to file them down to 3.9 mil in order for them to fit inside the tire, like a fake hub. So you can imagine that the difficulty of that was ridiculous. Anyway, I'm there filming it all, getting it all on it. It took me about, about three hours to be fair, but the video footage, I got down to like 10 minutes. And when I'm putting this video together for you, can't find the file. So all that filming and setting up and what have you to show you the wheels, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I ain't got it. I don't know what happened to it. So you will see it at the end, the wheels. They're not perfect, but they, they'll do the job until all this pandemic's over with and things are opened up and I can reorder. So I have got wheels on order, but as you know, the way the post is at the minute. Excuse me. So when they do, uh, when they do finally land, this thing will have a lovely set of rims, and then I'll just put a few clips up just to show you. But the wheels that I've got for now, it, it'll do the job for now. They fit the purpose, you know. So apologies for that, but there's nothing I can do about it. All this work off camera is fantastic. I'm gonna have to do more of this. Make such a good video, just sitting here looking at a, a cut mat and, you know, so <laughs> feel free to skip forward. I do apologize. Oh, we're back in shot. Here we go. So there's the handle I did in um, fashion out of a, a paper clip and it's just going to sit in there. I think I'm actually uh, using a little small handle of the second, just drilling it in, getting the little holes. Bob Willis says, fingers like tits. <laughs> I think I've got a set of them to be honest. Fits. 
sit on there, drill a little holes in, stick it in the back, and then off to paint. So again, I'm using the Pebio glass paint. I'm just gonna shoot down the little tack coat, very thin coats. I love this paint, the finish on this paint is fantastic. And you can actually bake it as well in your um, regular oven. It's meant for glass. So once you've done it on glass and you bake your, your glass piece that you've been working on, it becomes dishwasher proof then, so none of the paint will wash off and it hardens to um, a really high gloss. So you can do that with die cast as well, as long as you've not primed it or fill with any fillers or anything like that. Just a basic straight paint job. Once it's dry, you can then stick it in the oven for the 35 minutes on, I think it's 190 degrees. And then um, once it's cooled down, you pop out the oven and it bakes the paint. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very cool paint. I love it. So yeah, but again with the job anyway, just gonna lay down the tackle to say, open the doors here. Get them door posts done. The only thing is if you rush, rush your job with this paint, it does, um, you start to have a little bit of problems with it, but if you just lower your pressure, thin your paint out, excuse me, thin your paint down, lower your pressure, nice easy thin coats, it's absolutely brilliant. But if you if you try to like run a thick mix through your, your brush on a high pressure, you start to get a few problems. So if you're going to use this paint, I advise you, just take your time with it. Honestly, it, it works out a lot better than if you just take your time, thin layers, and you'll get a better finish, trust me. In between little splashes of paint here, I'll, I'll be using, you can see me with the brush, I'm just putting the air over it, just to dry it off quicker. I am running the compressor, I think I'm doing this at 20 psi or 18 18 to 20 psi and we mix it's a um, consistency of as they describe it as milk so it's not too thick it's not too runny and it, it goes through the brush really well and as you can see once you start getting like two or three layers on it comes up with a nice uh, a nice deep nice deep opaque finish with a nice shine and then once you clear coat over the top it really pops. And some of the colours they give you, it's for art, oh, yeah. I've got lots of colours there, I can't wait to try them. It's starting to build up nice now. Total, I laid down about nine, nine coats once the tack coat is dry. So um, I'm not going to show you all of that because it, it took a long time. So once I've done this little pass, I'll then um, I'll cut to the reveal for you. It's just to give you an idea of how it goes on and the process of it, you know. And it dries pretty quick this paint.
Make sure it's all covered. Bottom skirt there, just a tiny bit, yeah. Should be okay. So, that's the tack coat done. It's going on really nice. It should finish really well this with a few more coats on. Well, another eight coats. But yeah, to give you an idea of what, what to expect. And on now we'll show you what we started with. There's no battered looking play worn toy. And this is what we ended up with. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, there's the wheels. See, they're not great, but they serve purpose till I can get the correct ones for it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe. Become part of this community. It's a fantastic group of people. Leave your comments, like the videos, and share all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.